everybody, welcome to another episode of Bushcraft Dave. This time, it's Bushcraft Dave Reviews. It's been six months since I bought my Trangia 27 series stove um, and various other bits of kits that I've bought over the course of the six months to go with it. So I thought it was a good time, six months in, to review it, talk about it, talk what I like about it, talk about any issues that I've had and how I've overcome those issues. But yeah, time to start the review. The first bit of kit to talk to you about is the set itself. This is the Trangia 27 series. It's the 27 um, 1. So it's the very, very base model. It comes with the alcohol stove rather than the gas stove and none of the other bits and pieces. So it's just a brilliant starter kit, the basic model. So let me show you what we've got inside. A fantastic strap that just keeps everything all tight together. You get the frying pan. The grip that holds, whether it be the frying pan or any of the bits of uh, the saucepans and stuff, which is perfect. And inside, you can see the bag's already taken a lot of beating from me using it. But inside that yellow bag, we get the alcohol stove. It's probably still got some alcohol left in it from the last time I used it. Fantastic spirit burner with a lid on so that when everything's cool you can still leave some fuel inside there and it's all going to be kept nice and sealed and also you've got what's called the simmering which you can open to various different amounts which helps drive by from my cat yeah so the spirit burner and simmering they do say you should always keep it inside this plastic bag there is often like a still maybe a little bit of a hint of uh, the fuel itself or um, just soot and things like that. Keeping it inside the plastic bag just means that all of your cookware is going to be safe from the, the sort of chemically taste. Inside there we've got two saucepans. Um, we'll stick on the screen what size all of these things are in terms of capacity and... Um, thinking about the the sort the frying pan what the width of that is but they are two really useful saucepans one fits inside the other I've used these for a, a massive variety of things so that's those and then we've got the windshield that's the starting point for making this bit of kit you've got the lower windshield which is where your stove will sit when you're cooking the upper windshield which just means that all of the fuel and the burn is happening inside there. And then these useful little pot stands, they can come out if you're using the fry pan and then go inside to take both of the saucepans. So absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Now what's really good is that every single piece that you can see here is replaceable. Every single bit of it, you can go on the Transier website or you can go to various online retailers and every single bit of this is replaceable. You can buy new yellow bags, you can buy a new strap. Um, if for whatever reason you lost a bit of the kit, it doesn't mean you have to buy a whole new bit of kit. Now for me, I bought this, it was about £45 and it was a fantastic starter set to just get me going, get me out, get me cooking. Um, really really good so having used this now um, I've used this for six months but after about a month of use there was a few things that were sort of slightly starting to annoy me a little bit that I thought there must be other things that I could do so the first thing that I looked at replacing was the fry pan it's not a non-stick frying pan it's great you can cook things in it you probably just need to make sure you've got plenty of oil and you can clean all of these things with wire wool so it wasn't really a major problem, but I did replace the um, aluminium with um, this bit of kit, the non-stick fry pan that goes with this Trangia series. So that was the first piece of kit that I switched out to get this non-stick pan as well. 
it just meant that any frying that I was going to do will be a little bit easier. There is also another um, fry pan that you can get that is another level up from this. I want to say that it's a hard anodized fry pan, but I can't remember. I'll try and double check the details and put it on the um, description for you. But this one cost me about £13, I think, to upgrade to this fry pan, but it has made things a lot more simple. The other thing that I needed, alongside getting that fry pan really, was this next bit of kit. This is the multi-disc which Trangia sell. It comes in a, a, another packaging, which I haven't still got, but it's fantastic for, you can chop on it. Um, the holes at the sign mean you can, if you're cooking pasta, you can drain from there. Um, and one of the other real advantages of this piece of kit is that it can fit inside the non-stick frying pan so that when you do eventually put all of the kit back together, it means that the non-stick coating of the frying pan is not getting scratched on any of the metal work from the rest of the pans. So, fantastic bit of kit. I did make a bit of a mistake with it. Um, I don't know whether it necessarily comes up on the vi on the video. I might get to Olivia to zoom in. You can probably just vaguely see that there's a little bit of heat issue just around the top there where it's slightly melted the plastic now this is not a lid that you can use actually as a lid to you know when you're bubbling something away because what happens is if i've got the pan on the stove and i put that lid on there's still all the heat coming up from the sides and the flames will often if you've not got the simmering on, all the flames will be coming up the side and hitting the underside of this. Now, I, I did successfully use this for a good 30 minutes without it really melting when I had the simmering on. That is not to say that you should be using it for this, but it wasn't the end of the world. It's not a disaster. And I think this was maybe about £9, something like that. So that was one of my first bits that I upgraded to, to get the non-stick frying pan and the chopping board, the multi-disc. So I've eventually upgraded all of those pieces. The next thing that I ended up getting was um, this Trangia fuel bottle. Um, the, it comes in sizes of 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, and one liter. I've probably got that smaller size wrong, but they come in a variety of sizes and you can just store all your liquid fuel in there I use a bioethanol, but you can use uh, methylated spirits. And nice and simple, you unscrew the top, you turn it to the side, and when you press down on there, you, all your fuel can come out. You just screw it back down to tighten it. This cap turns, so you can refill the fuel in there. Fantastic. I take that out on my journeys with me. Just sits in my bag or in one of the side pockets. We've got my fuel nice and safe, nice and secure. So I bought that. I then bought myself the kettle that goes with the Trangia 27 series. This is one of the cutest things in the world, okay? It is a tiny, a tiny little kettle. So the handle, really useful. It lays down completely flat. You'll see when I pack everything together. Um, it then locks into position. So you can just sit it on the inside of the stove and it will boil your water much quicker than if you were doing it in one of the saucepans because obviously with the lid on you're keeping the heat in and you can also when you're boiling it you can see the sort of water just bubbling and obviously you can fold the lid back down flat i'm not sure how many milliliters this holds we'll have a look online and we'll uh, stick that detail on there but it's certainly enough for one good sized mug of coffee. So when Mrs. Bushcraft Dave is out and about, she can have a really big, deep cup of coffee. I think it would certainly give two people a decent sized cup of tea. So that's that. The final thing that I ended up getting was this bag. So when I bought this bag, it was completely bright orange, but you can see already how much it has been tarnished and dirtied. If I show you the inside, 
you can see how black it is on the inside because when you're cooking with this stove what what ends up happening is naturally there's a certain amount of sooting and stuff that goes on to the bottom of the fry pan or the saucepan when I'm out and about cooking in the wild, obviously I don't tend to wash up instantly at that point. I will tend to finish my cooking, chuck it all back together, stick it inside this bag so when I hike back home, I can then wash it straight away. Um, so it's what this bag is brilliant for is it means that everything inside my rucksack will also remain clean. All of the dirt, everything stays inside this bag. The bag was about four pounds, something like that. Not a great deal. The kettle, it's about 12 or 13, something like that. So that was everything. I, I may eventually decide to replace the fry pan with a hard anodized fry pan, because the non-stick coating's okay, but I can see that it won't necessarily last ages. It'll do me all right for a, a year, maybe a couple of years, but I may want to replace that eventually. See, the whole of this set is actually a set that will cook for one to two people. Um, there is a set smaller than this that's called the Trangier Mini or the 28 series which is just a one person cook set. That's definitely something I'm looking at getting at some point. This 27 series you can also get the 25 series where it's to, for three to four people cooking. So it's just a bit bigger, everything's just a scaled up version of the things that we've got here. Um, scaled up versions of the kettle and things like that. Um, other than that, there are other versions of this set that you can get. This was the 27.1, 27.2 comes with the kettle, 27.3 and 27.4 I think is the non-stick version, 1, 3 without the kettle, 4 with the kettle. All the odd numbers don't have a kettle, all the even numbers do have a kettle. So when you're looking at it online, if it's something you're thinking about buying, that's what those numbers mean and as you go through the numbers, um, it increases in terms of what the quality of the product is that you're buying. So 21 is just the basic aluminium, 23 I think is the non-stick, 25 starts to get towards the hard anodized and things like that. This up to I think 20, 27 sets 7 and 8 I think is the, the end of it which is like the, the real top end model. But it costs a lot more. You can also use this with a gas stove. So I'm using it at the minute with my alcohol burner but you can get a gas stove which sits on the top of there the pipe in from the gas stove comes out the side and you can just connect it to a small gas pipe so it's really really versatile piece of kit all of it's replaceable everything that I ended up buying here probably took my initial 45 pound purchase up to probably about 80 pounds altogether but when I was looking at other things online, things like the jet boil and stuff like that, that can be over £100, this is definitely cheaper than that. I feel like it's a lot more versatile. I've used this for doing things like cooking chilli con carne. I've used it for making quesadillas and all sorts of different bits and pieces over the course of the last six months. Really versatile kit. And even with all of the other bits that I've bought to upgrade that original 27-1 series, Everything fits back together, nice and simple to put back together. In fact, what I tend to do, because sometimes this uh, belt can be a little bit difficult to put in, if you initially do it without anything in at all, it gives you a little bit more flexibility. You can also get your fingers in to thread it through. And then everything ends up going back inside, including for this, the kettle fits inside all of that. Inside the kettle, you can put the alcohol stove. What's also quite useful is there's still space left over in there for you to put things like your matches or a lighter, you can all go inside there. That's all shut. The grip, that grips onto all of the bits of saucepan and fry pan. That can go on top. The chopping board goes next. The fry pan on top. So I've taken that initial 27-1 series and upgraded it with all the bits and pieces that I needed. All goes nice and snug back together. Back inside the bag. Nice and neat, and then all I need to pack is my bag. 
and my fuel. And so that's it, my six month review of the Trangia 27 series. I definitely do not regret purchasing this one bit. It has already had six months of fantastic use. If you check out my channel and look at some of my walks, and on each of those walks you'll see a different cook that I do where I'm trying to cook all sorts of different bits and pieces out in the wild. I try to avoid using things like the bagged food and the dried food and things that I'm trying to cook out in the wild as if I was going to cook at home but on the Trangia stove. I've still got loads of other recipes that I've not even tried yet. This is definitely going to get absolutely tons of hammer. I'm sure I will upgrade bits and pieces in the future, so maybe in another year I might end up doing another review to talk about any other bits and pieces that I've bought. But absolutely fantastic bit of kit for anybody who's beginning getting into hiking. Um, I definitely recommend it as a, a really good cheap entry point to buy in a cooking stove. Um, we'll stick the weight of this lot because it is not light. Um, in fact, let me get my weighing scales. nine hundred and ninety seven grams so one kilogram there will definitely be lighter cook systems out there but i don't think there'll be many that are as versatile especially because with this i can if i'm if i know i'm not going to use the kettle i'll leave it at home if i know i'm not going to need both of the saucepans i'll leave one of them at home so bit by bit you can reduce the weight but for what it can do absolutely no regrets whatsoever definitely worth a purchase so thank you very much for watching another one of Bushcraft Dave reviews. There will be another Bushcraft Dave reviews coming in the next few weeks where I'm going to review my Osprey Talon 33 rucksack. Uh, I'm going out on a three day multi hike with it in the next few days. So that'll get uh, a lot of use and I'll be able to tell you a lot more about that. But other than that, in my next video on the channel, it will be my three day hike of the Limestone Way. Looking forward to you seeing that one. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, give it a like or subscribe and we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Cut. I then set about the handle I then bought myself, thank you, Livy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm good, I'm good. Um, you can see how it was totally bright green when I bought it. <laughs> what colour was it, mate? Oh. Alright, alright. Oh, sorry, I'm still getting over the cat. Oh.